Okay, to um, add a new movie reel onto the site, um, first of all, just sign in. Once you've signed in, uh, go down to uh, create content. Here you'll see this list, um, movie reel. And as you can see, use this content type to create movie reel pages. Uh, it requires that the video be uploaded to YouTube first. Uh, once uploaded, you need to copy the URL, web address of the video page, uh, ready to paste into the video field. So we click on that. Um, okay, so on this page, we can see the video that we're going to um, embed onto the site. I'm just going to copy the title. Uh, go back and just paste that in there for the video field we copy the URL of the video copy and paste that in there and then we're going to want the uh, description so we grab that from here copy Paste, paste, okay. Um, and that basically will get us the uh, video page. However, there are some more things that we can do to try and increase the chance of this page um, ranking in different search results. Um, so if we go back into edit. Uh, go down the page, we can see the thumbnail there, you can replace the thumbnail if you like and uh, just click choose a file, go and find whatever you like, upload, I won't do that but um, add in some alternative text, that would be really helpful and useful actually um, so actually what I might do is put watch that film watch that film um, it's worthwhile adding in a lot more um, text into the uh, description that accurately describes um, th you know the film the content because um, obviously the search engines can't actually watch the movie um, their only way of knowing what it's about is really by the content so it would be very worthwhile adding in you know, a lengthy nice description in there uh, the page title um, now this is a little bit confusing because we can see up here we've got title already now this title is what's actually displayed on the page itself this title the page title is actually used in the search engines and um, so if we go to a search engine page and um, this is the title the blue link the big blue link that's the title so whatever you put in there will be the blue link that's you know wherever your site comes up and um, so we're probably going to want to say you know watch um, uh, star power teaser the star uh, you know uh, video that's going to be a good good word to get in there teaser video um also you might want to add it into a menu somewhere so we could you know add that in as well we we'll just take the star power there we go so that would be the menu link uh, I don't want in primary links primary links by the way are the main links for any given site uh, often displayed at the top of the website um, and under and inside primary links I've got reels so I'm gonna put it in there uh, meta tags uh, don't I shouldn't worry about this or canical 
uh, canonical uh, URLs. Um, however, the description is very important. That is displayed on Google search results here. Um, it's the text underneath any given link. This is a description. This bit here. Um, so that's important. You want to get your keywords in there as well. Um, I'd advise coming back here and obviously adding um, to this, um, but for a minute, for for the purposes of the uh, demonstration, that'd be fine. Um, keywords phew, aren't really used very much by Google anymore, but you know some search engines may very well um, take take the keywords into account when uh, uh, ranking your website in the search results. Um, but I wouldn't worry too much about them. Uh, I'd leave that blank and just use the default value, which would be set to you know common and you know inviting these search engines in. Um, and that's it really. Uh, publish, yeah, you want it published. Comment settings. If you want it to allow users to post comments on on the uh, page, we can enable them here. And that is it. I say you had a movie reel to the site and optimise it for search engines.